have some really special guests. Who here loves the podcast Acquired? Well, Ben and David are here, so we love them too, and I'd like to warmly welcome our co-hosts, Ben Gilbert and David Rosenthal. Ben and David, come on out. Go, fellas. All right. Great to have you. Great to have you, David. See you. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Bill, thank you for having us. I'm with you. I love and having you, and so is this amazing crowd. So well, thank ooh. you. Oh, we even got chairs today. You want to stand? It's appropriate. <laughs> Well, I think we got some time here. So okay, we do. Take a seat. Okay. Let's do this. Why don't you I, guys be sent a court here? You're in, you're in charge. I think we're going to put you right there. You want if me that here? Works. Okay. Yeah. We, uh, listen, I'm telling Bill McDermott what to do. I don't know. <laughs> on, is that okay on your stage? It's <laughs> awesome. Um, well, I do feel like every time we see you these days, it's like 30,000 people. So you got to be getting used to this kind of thing. Yeah, this yeah. is the new normal. I just love being on the loose with you guys, though. <laughs> <laughs> we love it, too. Speaking of being on the loose, Agentic AI is this big shift for organizations. What's the new normal? How should companies need to be structured now in this era of agentic AI? Well, if you think about it, every product, every service, every solution in the whole wide world will be AI enabled, every one. So the smartest products will be the best products. And you'll have intelligent buildings, You'll have autonomous vehicles. You'll even have an autonomous lawnmower, for God's sake. So getting on the AI bus now is essential for these companies to win. And I think today you're going to hear about autonomous, agentic AI um, about as many times as you possibly can, because in the enterprise, we're the only one doing it. And as you think about building your team at ServiceNow and everybody here building their teams in an agentic world, what needs to change about how you structure companies and set up incentives and things like that? Yeah, I think that we have to go for teamwork. Um, we're, we're knocking down these silos. We're rethinking these boring structured org charts. And we're getting people to work across departments in teams the way they want to anyway. I mean, think about it this way. Why is CRM such a disaster? It's because if you care for a customer, it's not just the sales rep or the marketing department. Everybody has to care for the customer. Just think about a downsell situation. You'll need pre-sale, you'll need sale, you'll need post-sale, you might need finance, you'll probably need legal, and you probably have a partner involved in some way, shape, or form. Just think about that with a siloed CRM system. It's probably why we have more CRM problems in the global economy than any other thing and the cost of losing a customer is getting higher and higher by the day. Indeed it is. Well, we do have one more special surprise yeah. for all of us here. I think it's time. At least I, I saw someone backstage, right? Yeah. I feel yeah. like should probably join us on stage here is, at some point. Is there someone here? There he is! <laughs> Jensen! Yeah. Give it up for Jensen Wong! Hello, Jensen! Hello, Jensen! Did I make it on time? You know, I, I, I saw you sprinting backstage. My uh, gosh, literally landed just a second ago. We flew that plane in a manner that will never, it will never be flown again. And we came down Maverick style. <laughs> We'd expect no less from you. He's the best. I just have to, just for one second, thank Jensen so much for being here. Uh, this is his third time to knowledge. Um, we just don't have a better friend in the whole wide world than you, Jensen. And ServiceNow would not be the company that ServiceNow is without NVIDIA and without the G-O-A-T of AI himself, Mr. Jensen Wong. And I'm oh, so grateful you. to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you know, because of our, because of our original vision, uh, NVIDIA runs AI agents on ServiceNow. And, and uh, uh, I made the observation, and I told you this, and, and of course you knew this, but I told you just as a third, as a third party watching the world of enterprise AI, right. ServiceNow is destined to be the best platform, the operating system of enterprise AI agents. And the reason for that, the reason for that is because every company in the world needs AI agents and those AI agents are going to be curated, managed, made better by the IT department. 
And ServiceNow is already in every company's IT department. And so it was a natural thing for us to do. It was, and it's been a great partnership. It has, Jensen. And you know, we've been at this now for six years together. Yeah. And there's a lot of pretenders out there. They want to sell them agents, buy my agents. They're out there every day with these people. Buy my agents, buy my agents. And what they want to do really is add an agent to a silo that is not delivering the results these guys want anyway. So how do you see like this idea of north, south, east, and west with that control tower view, that fabric view, where we control and team up with all the other agents and all the other data, and we do it with NVIDIA and ServiceNow? Well, you take a step back. What agents have to do, what digital workers have to do, number one, it has to understand content. And one of the things that we've done together is to build the world's best PDF reader. As you guys know, PDFs are hard to read. It's got charts, images, graphs, tables, lots of words. It's organized in a way that's not completely linear. And so you have to read, you have to understand. Sometimes you might have to go and refer to other documents that is referenced in the PDF. And so the first thing that you have to do is you have to understand multimodal content. The second thing you have to do is be able to reason. And today, may I? Yeah, please. We hear you have a big announcement. May I make an announcement? Yes, sir. Today. Today we're announcing that the teams at ServiceNow and NVIDIA have built a new incredible model for reasoning. We call it April Nemotron. April Nemotron. April is um, new, fresh. Is that is that love it? Is that where it came from? Beautiful. I, you know, I'm kind of like April Nemotron, Nemotron spritz. But anyways, <laughs> ap April Nemotron is a reasoning model, which, is, which allows uh, the, mod, the AI agent to understand what you're asking it to do, reason about how to solve that problem, break it down step by step, read PDFs, go to the web, go look at websites, do all kinds of research, come back and help you solve problems. Beautiful. And so that's the first thing about agents. The second thing is that you need to have a flywheel to make that agent customized for yourself, in your environment, on your data, the work that you wanted to do, evaluate it, deploy it, guardrail it, and just make it better over time. We call it a data flywheel, and that platform on ServiceNow is called the Workflow Data Fabric. You got it. And we're integrated into all of that data processing, incredible data processing platform. And the third thing that you have to do is you need to make these agents work as a team. Right? Nobody, nobody, nobody lives in a silo. Exactly. And, and just as we want all of our employees to work as a team member, we would like all of our digital workforce to work as a team. You want to work, you want to work with uh, other agents that you've built. You want to work with agents from the ServiceNow platform. You want uh, those agents to work with uh, other companies' platforms. Right. And so it doesn't matter where they come from. It could be in the cloud. It could be on-prem. We don't care. You just want those agents to be able to solve problems on your behalf, work with as many experts as possible. And these other agents are, um, are maybe they're experts on using particular tools. And we want to take advantage of all of that. And so that system is, what do we call it? Which system are you referring to? The orchestration. Oh, this all is these the workflow automation system. And so it's kind of like bringing together this AI controller with the workflow data fabric and the whole NVIDIA stack coming together to completely transform the enterprise. And you know, I was control tower. Yes, the control tower. The uh, control tower. Exactly. Yeah. Can I just control say, tower. I think it's incredibly rare for CEOs of two very you know, large successful companies. Yeah. I mean, you guys are finishing each other's sentences. Yeah. And since we have you both here together, we want to talk a little bit about what makes great partnership. How, how do you two work together? Actually, let's start first. How did you two meet? Well, What's I've done a lot today, partners. You get to kick it off. They heard a lot from me today. We met at SAP. I was nobody. And, oh. and uh, uh, Bill was the CEO of SAP, one of the largest, most successful companies in the world. And, and uh, most, one of the most, well, you know, to this day, uh, one of the most admired CEOs in the world. And, and I, was, I, was, uh, I was but a kid. And so Bill, but a kid, 
<laughs> Don't you love him? I was, I was hey, about, come on. I was He's about so a kid. I was about a kid. And he was so nice to me. He was so nice. But he's, you know, you're nice to everybody. Bill, how did, how did you make the bet then that Jensen was going to be this right about AI? And get this on guy was early? making graphics cards. Well, you know, it's really funny because the first time I had a serious conversation with Jensen, he told me, Bill, we got to build a company that if everyone called sick on the same day, the company would function without any problems because of AI. And if you read into that, there's a lot to understand. But that's the wisdom of this man. And I really connected with him on a human trust level. Of course, I admired him greatly. And when you talk, when you talk about the greats of all time, you, you, you just you got him right here on stage. Um, and so that was an honor to team up with him. But I always said the trust is the ultimate human currency. And you know, he could be in a lot of places today. Jensen's a pretty busy guy. NVIDIA's doing pretty well, in case you haven't noticed. Um, but he's here. He shows up. And he wanted to be here. And I think that's really it. Last year, we were talking about animation and voice-activated agents, remember? And now we're talking about reasoning models, connecting workflow data fabric to a control tower to monitor team of agents working with an open architecture, all hyperscalers, any data model, any system of record, just be the central nervous system. I like to think of it as the supercomputer, right? Yep. Meets the data processing automation workflow platform of ServiceNow and changes the world. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Huh? <laughs> and you aren't the only ones. So Jim Kramer, all my friends, uh, recently said on Mad Money, that NVIDIA and ServiceNow are the first companies that together are delivering real value to customers with agentic AI. What are, what are some of your favorite examples of how you two are delivering value together? Well, you know, in order for us to, to uh, add value in the work environment, we know exactly how work is done. It's by people with intelligence who have access to data, understand the work that needs to be done, able to work as a team, and in ambiguous environments, which is what we do for a living, no, nothing is perfectly characterized and nothing is perfectly codified. And so you're in environments where things are ambiguous and you have to reason. You have to apply rules, you have to apply uh, theorems, you have to provide knowledge, and you reason through problems step by step. As a result, you're able to solve problems that you've never engaged before, um, and you're engaging it for the first time, but somehow you do it incredibly well. And so we want to create those digital workforce, digital employees, if you will, to who are our partners to amplify our capabilities and do a whole bunch of mundane things and automated things or maybe even larger scale things that requires uh, too much data for any human to put in our heads. But those agents don't have any trouble with that. And so we would like to have this digital team, digital agent team. and. Um, that, that conversation, that vision, led to today. And we built it step by step by step by step. And one of the things, you know, on a personal level, what I love about Jensen, many things, but, you know, he really started out from humble beginnings. And I think a lot of people out here can appreciate great leadership and an American dream or a world dream story like Jensen. Um, you should tell him about Denny's and. Let's keep it real just for a second, just to like loosen it up, because you know I had the deli, you had Denny's. We we kind of always had that back and forth. Denny's is still my first company. <laughs> you know, if if uh, I tell Kelly if I were still working at Denny's, I'd be CEO now. <laughs> she just said she's she's happy I'm not there. Yeah, Bill, we gotta get we gotta get some of your sandwiches. Jensen has served us. Oh, I'm such Denny's. a good you know, cook. We, we're waiting on lunch for you. Nobody flips eggs better than I do. All right. All right, I could so, over easy eggs both hands. Uh, the issue with letting Jensen talk about Denny's is that is all we will do the rest of the day. So we've right. got we to bring it back yeah. there. Parting words for everyone here navigating the AI era as leaders. What should people think about? What should be their North Star as they re-architect their teams, as they chase new markets, as they build new products? What do they need to do? Well, remember, remember the first thing that you need to do if you want to engage AIs, you have to start by thinking about the platform. And I, I made a good decision for our company when we selected ServiceNow. And, 
And the reason why you want to start with a platform is remember that your employees only get better through the flywheel of your onboarding, your continuous training, your evaluation, and then giving them good work to do. That entire flywheel is necessary uh, for us to have great employees. The same thing, the same thing goes, the same thing goes with uh, AI agents. And so the first thing that you want to do is you want to select a good platform. And, and the thing that's really great about ServiceNow is that it's been selected by thousands of customers. And we're, we've selected for ourselves. Uh, it's enabled all of our IT, all, all of our uh, cust uh, all of our employee services to become self-service. And so we can ask our agents a lot of prob questions and help us solve problems. And now with our new model, new reasoning model, so we can have this new reasoning model go off and do a whole bunch of research for us. Maybe it's not, it's no longer a one shot, one shot and done answer. Maybe it's got to break it down and go do some research and then come back with the come back with an answer. So we now have the ability to do that with April Nemotron. And I would you know build on that by saying everything we did was with NVIDIA from the very beginning. And I think we simulate a one company model very well. We put hundreds of engineers shoulder to shoulder together to build, to build the dream in the first place. And we wouldn't be where we are without NVIDIA and without Jensen's vision, I'll tell you that right now. And I think that's such a beautiful thing that we can literally simulate a one company model even though NVIDIA is a company and ServiceNow is a company because trust is what we have together. And I will say this, for you companies out there like Stellantis, like Siemens, like many others that you saw on stage, AstraZeneca, et cetera, AI is proactively and predictively running these companies. And just think about security and intrusion and catching something before it actually happens. Think about creating a net new business model if you're in the hardware business and you want to make your margin on the services and you have to arbitrage the labor force and understand in real time the predictive analytics around the boxes that you have out there, the workforce you have to service them, and how much you can charge a customer and give them a great service. The operating technology in all these companies is now coming front and center with solving problems on the shop floor, on the assembly line. Think about tariffs, Jensen. The idea of No, tier... don't think about it. No, don't think about it. <laughs> but look, you know, tier two. Chill, it was going so well. I was having some good time. <laughs> you got to be ready for everything. Kevin, <laughs> Kevin's He'll just save you money. He'll save you money. After this back there, Kevin, he's talking about tier two and three suppliers and signing up new ones to monitor and manage this new situation on the fly. Whereas with a system that's been there for a long time, it would take him months to actually adjust to these shock waves. So I think real time is finally here, Jensen. And um, I think NVIDIA, you know, having been at your conference, is uh, literally the finest company in the world. Thank you so much. I really Thank you do. so much. And I, I just, you, you, know, you know this, this is, this, I need all of us, I need all of you to join me. All right, I'll say it and you're gonna say it too. It's tradition. <laughs> I want my service now. I want 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 service now. All right. All right, guys. All right. Jensen, wow. Bill, thank you so, so much. Thank you very much. <laughs> and Jensen, I, I do really I want to thank you again. I know what you went through to get here. You're uh, the best of the best, and we are Thank always you so in your much. debt, man. Thank you so much, and, and I, I love our partnership, and I love building NVIDIA AI agents on ServiceNow. I, I, and we love the AI factory from NVIDIA, and we'll always be with you. Thank All you, right. Jensen. Thank you so much. Mike.